Welcome to another episode of Collection Archives, where we dive to different items in my collection. Today we're looking into the Hot Toys 1-6 scale Avengers Endgame Professor Hulk. This figure comes from the MCU, from the end of the Infinity Saga. Though I had seen references of Hulk in comic books, it wasn't until watching the 2003 Eric Bana as Hulk movie that I really met the character. A very impressive and unique hero, in my opinion. Quite the resemblance to Dr. Jekyll and Mr. Hyde. And a game changer in almost any fight. As Bruce Banner said it himself in the Endgame movie, this version of Hulk is the result of Banner coming to terms with his condition or his alter ego, if you will. As Vecna, Henry, or... 001 in Stranger Things, fans may call this character in various ways. Smart Hulk, Professor Hulk, or simply Hulk. This is the first time we see such an integration of the man and the beast acting as one. And as usual, both mind and muscle would prove decisive throughout the movie. What stands out about this figure is the fact that for the first time we have a fully dressed up Hulk, which makes him different from other Hot Toys Hulks. The purple gray suit that is clearly fabric plays really well with Hulk's green skin color. The details on his suit cannot be overlooked. In fact, it's not just purple and gray. There are parts of the suit which are gray and other dark gray. The same as the light purple parts and the darker purple parts. The only problem I see with this suit is that you're not able to see the points of articulation of the figure and therefore it will be more difficult to know how much you can move the arms, legs and all of the movable parts. But aesthetically speaking, Hulk's uniform looks very sophisticated in its own right. So, talking about the head sculpt, aside from the Avengers 1-6 scale Bruce Banner, I believe this head takes after Mark Ruffalo. The details of the wrinkles and the frown lines are simply sensational. Also, the black hair and grey hair do look very real. The look on Banner's face clearly is a thinking face, like he's carrying a light bulb over his head. So I have displayed this Hulk battling Thanos in the epic final stand between the Avengers and the Mad Titan's army. But I did not pose this Hulk with the Infinity Gauntlet, as I had already posed an SH Figures Ant-Man carrying the Infinity Gauntlet that came with the Hot Toys Endgame Captain Marvel. So obviously, I wouldn't have two gauntlets in the same scene. This Hulk, though very amazing, is not my favorite Hulk. I have the Thor Ragnarok Hulk, which is definitely the winning Hulk in my collection. However, Endgame is one of my favorite movies in the MCU. As we finally saw our heroes time traveling, it would have been awesome if Hot Toys would have made the time machine van. But I know Hot Toys does not really make many vehicles. I still haven't seen a Hot Toys vehicles from the MCU. The Shield Helicarrier, perhaps they do one day. Well guys, let's wrap up this archives entry. Thank you for watching and until the next time, do not forget to like and subscribe.